What's going on? We back. Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. One time for the one time. We're coming back with another video after this one, so be on the lookout. Gonna do a um uh you know spotlight season uh season preview one more. We're gonna squeeze in four video four videos today. Hopefully you enjoyed the other two I dropped earlier this morning. Look like they signed Ricky John. Um whatever how you say his last name, Francois to a deal, so uh, Lions got that extra defensive tackle. I'd like it to see be I like it to be Jonathan Hankins, local product, Southeastern Southeastern High School in the building, stand up, all right. But um, it is what it is. Um, you know, I hear you know Colin Hurd, which I have no respect for. Um, Colin Hurd as a sports analyst, he's a fan, just like many of the people on ESPN and uh, at Fox Sports. It's just a disgrace where those companies have gone. You know, ESPN is the first team. Fox Sports is 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 the JV, you know what I'm saying? They left Fox Sports to back. They left Fox, uh, Fox Sports on the scene to back up the first team. All right, both teams are terrible. All right, but you know what 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 can be done to change the national perception of the Detroit Lions? And obviously to win. All right, that's that's the obvious one. Uh, you know, geez Louise, it's the obvious one. I know that winning cures all. But even when the Lions were on a winning streak or whenever they do look like they're going to win, nobody truly believes. They're just waiting for the accident to happen. You know what I'm saying? You're just waiting on edge. No matter if they went 10 straight, you're just waiting for for the worst to happen. You wait for them just to fall apart and crumble. But what needs to happen is the local media needs to start to be more positive. You know, the Lions have been bad so long that everybody's just into a negative twilight. And everybody is it has nothing positive to say. Lions can play a, play a perfect game, and Platt Capullo and 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 um, ten to I mean and uh, uh, you know Terry Foster. You know hopefully you know he's doing well. And Mike Valenti show, you know I know it's just Mike Valenti now. Very very negative. You know it's nothing positive to say about it. It's always negative 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 negative. And you need positive vibes, positive energy. And if you think positive and give positive energy out. The universe will return the favorable positive energy. And I think we need a new media format, man. All these old, you know, comfortable, you know, old, fat, you know, uh, Lions reporters and, and everybody with a public uh, opinion, you know, they need to go, man, to be honest. You know, we need new sports writers. We need to clean it up because there's no way to rehabilitate these writers and these analysts we have in the city. They don't do their job. They don't have a relationship with none of the local teams for real. You know, the, all the owners and the teams really hate them, but they just got to uh, put up with some of these sorry sports writers. And they D-level guys. Seriously, they really, really D-level guys. And all the negative energy that they bring it into the city and, it, you know, into the teams, it ain't positive. The, co the owners don't like them. The, the front office guys don't like them. Now, I can't speak on the players, but you just tell. It's, 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 a, it's a gray area. <laughs> it's a black area, dark area, scary area between them, man. You know what I'm saying? They just come to to crash the party with negativity and ignorant comments and ignorant statements to make um, you know these teams look bad. And when you see your local media don't have a good relationship, what you think the national media is gonna do? The national media is gonna neglect the lines. And when something bad happens, or, or when some treacherous happen, or when they do SOL, same old lions ha things happen, you know they gonna shit on them. The local media shit on them. So why would the national media shit on them? The local media exposed Matt Patricia, and you and you see that. You see the national media saying, well, look what they sports writers are saying. You know, he's making them run wind sprints for doing things wrong, and he's lost control of the team. He's an accident waiting to happen in Detroit. He's probably not going to be there long with his case. See how that's a trickle-down effect. That's a chain reaction. How you, your local media is, is supposed to be, you know, the gateway, you know, to, to the national media is supposed to kind of, flow through, you know what I'm saying, like the positive energy goes to the national energy, I'm like, okay, yeah, they're doing good things, and they, they, they local media is doing well, but the local media has has been tarnished by so many bad football seasons by the Lions, and like I said, the Lions hold a lot of responsibility, they the number one culprit here, number one, you know, but now they're trying to change and do things better, you know, they the, the sports writers not buying it, they, they done, they chewed out, they tired, you know, you can't change these old men, you probably win three Super Bowls in a row, and they won't change and still be waiting for the SOL, you know, the classic same old Lions, to still be negative, not be 100% positive and joining in into the Detroit Lions movement. It's over with. They wore down, they raggedy, they used, they didn't have their day, they, they, the dogs didn't have their day. It's over with for, for that type of media. 
You know, they got to get more beat writers in there and um, and do something different because the, the relationship between the media in Detroit and some of these teams, you know, even in NBA, in, in, uh, for sure, and I feel I can speak on because those are my expertise. You know, you know, you hear Adrian Wojnarowski breaking news before the local media. How does somebody in California, Vegas, New York, or Kyrgyzstan, or Wakistan, or Russia, wherever, how do they know what's going on in your city before you do and you live, you sleeping and living in that city? You right next door. How do they know what's going on before you do? And that's because the media have severed their relationship, you know, with the teams. It's a severed relationship. You know, the teams don't talk. They don't tell injury report. They don't They do not do no off the record. They don't do nothing. They don't have no words for the, for, for, for the media. The respect and disrespect, you know, I mean, the respect is gone, you know. You know, the respect for their journalism is gone. That's deteriorated. The organization don't respect these writers. If you gave some truth to them, they'll tell you. You know, and now, now the team has been bad historically since the force took over. Okay, we all can agree on that. But now, not only that, it, it's got so bad that now the writers are mad at the, the Lions and the Pistons and the Tigers and the Red Wings. Uh, I can't really speak on the t- ring, Wings and Tigers. But now the writers are so mad uh, at the owners and the team because they won't withhold any, they won't tell no information. They won't do no, no interviews with them. They won't do nothing with them. And they mad, you know, because they didn't tell the truth and dogged the, and then went beyond telling the truth and dogging the Lions out so bad. And, and, and they deserved it. But now and the Lions organization is mad because it's swaying public perception when the media is supposed to, you know, be the Lions' best friend and, and help promote the Lions and help with the Lions' belief, hood week defense into buying season tickets. And they're supposed to be the first you know, line of defense of uh, first line to get fans to buy tickets. Say, oh, believe in the lines. We know they was 0 16 last year, but they're going 16 and 0 this year. And the media, like, no, I'm not going. I'm going to stick to my code for that part and tell the truth how sorry you guys really are. And we're going to just take a wait and see approach. And lines don't like it. So it's just a messed up situation, man. And, um, you know, but like I said, what they got to do is um, they got to get the media, local media back behind them. They got to sever that relationship. On top of winning, you know, and I think that's going to be harder than winning. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all might not agree, but that relationship is, is, is gone, you know, between the media and the Detroit Lions. It's, it's just it's just deteriorating. It's going to be easier to win than to get that media back on the Lions side and form that rapport and get that trust back. So that's why the national media is all over the Lions. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. I got one more coming behind it. Much blessings to everybody. Make sure you check the description on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And uh, I appreciate everybody, man. I do. Continue to share the video. Subscribe. Uh, much love and respect to everybody out here that support Motor City Sports Talk, the new media. And uh, we're here, man. We're here. We're going to continue to stay here on God's will. we gone.